SBC. It is a beautiful day for us to rise and shine and give God glory and praise this day. I hope that you are ready to do so, but it might be that you've rolled out of bed today on the wrong side. That's a phrase that we often use, meaning I'm in a bad mood. I'm angry. Maybe you walked into the kitchen and you told the kids, don't mess with me today. I'm angry. Or you looked at your spouse, don't start with me today. I'm angry. Maybe you even walked in and told your boss, you don't even want to start today because I'm angry. And you've carried that anger with you, whether to the job or to the house or to the kids. And here's what I want you to know. It's time to turn it loose. This morning as I came in and was getting ready to start my daily routines, I did what I always do, and that is, you know, went to go get a Dr. Pepper, and I needed to refresh my little stockpile in the fridge, so I grabbed a couple from my office, and we're just going to put it in the fridge out there in the fellowship room, and one of them fell from my hand. It was right beside the fridge. The door to the fridge was open, and when it hit the tile, it exploded. A full can of Dr. Pepper just unleashed in a moment. I mean, in a heartbeat, in just a matter of a second, it was everywhere. It blew up inside of the fridge, all over the foods. It blew underneath the fridge, on top of the fridge, across the floor. It was on my pants and in my shirt. I noticed even before taping this and I reached up and touched my cheek, I felt a sticky spot and realized I had to go wash my face because I'd been hit by Dr. Pepper. It flew everywhere and I was forever cleaning up the mess. What happened in that moment took me so long to clean up because the explosion radius was so vast. There was so much more in there than I would have ever guessed. Well, the same is true with your anger. If, if we don't turn loose of it, if we don't find a way to release it with God, if we don't find a way to allow it to be depressurized, when the explosion comes, it's going to do more damage than you realize. It's going to hurt hearts for a longer period of time than you would expect. It's going to have a larger blast radius than you would anticipate. If we don't handle anger correctly, we will do a lot more damage than we ever imagined. So what do we do? Well, the Bible actually has many, many verses on anger, but there's one great one over in Psalm 37. There, the psalmist makes this statement that's easy to understand. It's just, you got to work to apply it. He says this in verse eight of chapter 37, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Let me make the statement very, very clear. He says, you cease the anger, meaning you turn it completely loose. You let go of it. You put it behind you. You don't carry it with you for the rest of the day. The second thing he says is that you do so with an act of will. You choose to say, I will not allow this anger to be in control of my day. I forsake it. In other words, you turn your back on it. Now, when we get up on the wrong side of the bed, like we talked about, what we end up doing is we end up carrying that anger with us all day long. We carry it into the workplace. We carry it into our kids' lives. We carry it into the school system. And we don't let it go. We don't cease and we don't forsake. We hold we nurse, we actually keep pressurizing that anger inside of us so that when it does finally come forth, it does terrible damage. So listen, today, make it your goal to let your anger leave and let joy and grace come, cease, forsake, depressurize, before the explosion comes. Make it a great day, SBC, and I'll look forward to catching up with you again right here at Second Baptist Church.